So I want a robot to do my things. You know, the usual. Pick up my food. Oh, oh, oh. Carry my stuff. <laughs> Normal things, but small problem, small problem. Actually, two big problems. Smart robots are expensive. And usually not always that smart. So that leaves me with one option. First, I should probably decide on what I want exactly. It would be cool to design something like a Terminator, but that's currently outside my capability, sadly. There's always a, something like an Uber Eats robot, but it's kind of boring. What to do? So I want my robot to be fast, but I also want it to not get stuck. If only there was a third option. So here's the plan. I want this robot to be strong enough to carry my backpack and smart enough to do it autonomously and do this all extremely fast. So that means no remote, no controller, only normal speech commands. That's why it's called a ChatGPT robot. So... This is the current design. It is decently big, so it shouldn't have any issue carrying my backpack. Now hopefully the manufacturing process goes well. <sighs> but from my experience, there's always issues. So, I'm gonna need more time. Turns out, engineering is not that easy. It takes time and money. Both, I don't always have. <laughs> but, as for the robot, this thingy, I made it using aluminum extrusion. Because it's cheap, light, easy to work with. You know, important thing. Everything can be mounted with some M5 inserts, um, M5 screws. For now, everything was just 3D printed. Just to test fittings, make sure everything was designed well. It was a good idea because I made a lot of mistakes. Legs we milled out of 6061. I already bought the middle. It's on my shelf. Uh, pretty expensive. As for electronics, I'm using 
Three O drives. These are basically boards that convert brushless motors into robotic servos. And the brushless motors are geared uh, five to one to convert speed and to torque. For the brain, I'm using a Jetson Nano, just for now, because I have it lying around, and an Arduino, like right? they'll be communicating between each other. In the future, I will definitely need to upgrade this because I really want this thing to move. The wheels that I have can go 20 miles per hour, so that requires a lot of processing power because I do not want it hitting stuff. The battery I made is custom, right? It's using multiple light bulb cells, 13S7P. Anyways, it's a pretty beefy battery. It's about eight pounds. The design is modular, so I can just slot it in and slot it out, but it can only buy one battery currently. The eyes of the robot will be a depth sensing camera, like an Intel RealSense. Don't currently have anything like that, sadly, so I'm gonna have to buy one. A Z camera would be cool, but don't have 500 to blow. As for how I'm gonna test it, I will be running it in a physics simulator. I will be using NVIDIA's Omniverse uh, program, uh, specifically the Isaac Sim. This allows me to recreate a virtual world and have it test through there. What's cool is I got, I got a friend of mine who works at Disney to just create me a basic map of my campus. It allows me to practice it virtually and then in the future practice in person. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. <laughs> Hopefully next video I can have this uh, robot carrying my backpack. Or, or at the very least, not on fire. That'd be cool.